Let's see here now. The work I've done today, uh, let's see, is it very accessible? Well, I think the best way to show you is to go here to, um, all right, so these are um, the countries um, that I've been studying that are allied to uh, various powers for armed sources. You see, if you are reliant on Russia for your armaments, you bought all your advanced systems from them, if you piss them off, you could lose the ability to operate your armed forces. So these are very serious matters to buy proprietary, advanced, expensive weapon systems from other great powers. So we invaded Afghanistan, so they buy from us. We invaded Iraq, they buy from us. Uh, Saudi Arabia buys from us. Egypt buys from us. Uh, soon Libya will be, of course. Uh, Turkey buys from a mixture of different Western exporters. They have a little bit from every Western country. They take advantage of their NATO position to have much more advanced hardware, uh, assuming that Western hardware is superior to Russian and Chinese, but more expensive. Okay, so now what we look at is countries that primarily import from Russia, Kazakhstan, Mongolia, India, Iran, uh, Vietnam, and uh, most, uh, they have the largest penetration into Africa. And then we can look here at Indonesia, and um, they uh, import from China, Russia, Europe, and the U.S., and Japan is our other ally. So that's going to come in handy later. So let's walk through this uh, foreign military sales business. <clears throat> So what I did here um, is I looked at our arms exports. So here's the U.S. arms exports. There's almost, I guess to give you a sense of proportionality, here is our arms exports in 2010. Almost all of it to the Near East. Western Hemisphere, a half a billion, but it's 18 billion to the Near East and 6 billion to East Asia. Africa was a measly 22 million. So Africa does not import its weapons from the United States. So when we do a strategic map of Africa, we're going to expose uh, its real alliances because weapons source is where the buck stops. So um, I, uh, so Asia is uh, the uh, where, uh, and the Near East, Middle East, is where all the money is spent on U.S. arms. Um, but India uh, imports 82% of her arms from America. Pakistan has many more contracts, as far as I can tell, with China than the U.S. Burma, definitely with China. Um, and uh, so at any rate, <clears throat> uh, let's see here now. The next thing I wanted to show you is, so here's the U.S. export. So our main countries are Iraq, Saudi Arabia, and Egypt. And then we sell a fair amount into uh, Western Europe, a few countries here in Africa. Uh, as you see, these are amounts as little as $100,000. The biggest blue amount is a million. So these are very tiny purchases, whereas this is from 1 to 10 billion, the red ones. Australia, Japan, Saudi Arabia, Iraq, Egypt, and um, let's see here. Also, uh, Canada is in the uh, higher range. Um, and um, so uh, this shows how much uh, uh, is going on in our economy and who our primary targets are. And it's ironic that we're pumping arms like crazy into the most volatile region in the world, uh, if you have, didn't happen to notice. Okay, so getting back. Uh, so here is who exports what to who. So the U.S., Russia, China, and Europe all are exporting. Latin America is just a tiny, tiny amount of the market. 3% for the U.S., and 2% for Russia, 2% for France. So, um, you know, it's under half a billion, the whole market. Africa uh, is 23% uh, of China's exports, about 100 million. And it is 9% of Russia's exports, about 250 million. And then um, uh, we've got Asia, uh, which is 22% of the U.S.'s exports. 13% of UK's, 39% of France's, and 62% of Russia's. Um, now that means that we're exporting, the U.S. 
around three billion in, and Russia is exporting around three billion in, and then uh, China is pushing in another three hundred million, and then here's the net importers. This is interesting. Okay, now this is Latin America. I see. Uh, mainly Amer U.S., Africa, almost entirely Russia and China, uh, Asia, uh, mainly the U.S., uh, and then uh, North Africa and the Middle East, mainly the U.S. So, um, okay, and then here are the countries that we've sold the most systems into, UA, United Arab Emirates, Qatar, Iraq, Australia, Saudi Arabia, Egypt, so you can see why we didn't unseat the Egyptian military, perhaps, since they're five percent of our arms exports. And so Japan, Israel, uh, Korea, Jordan, Malaysia, but uh, right in around here, we start no longer being the primary supplier, probably. Okay, <clears throat> let's see here. I think that just about does it for that portion. So um, thank you, and good night, and good luck.